Bimbos, and welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. We have a lot going on in this episode. First of all, you guys just saw that Kimmy and Makana are engaged now. We are going to be doing a little family get together at the Suvani Palace in just a second with Kimmy and Makana's both of their families. And then we are going to be going to Winnenberg to see Alice May and Caspian. And I'm going to be talking about Alice May's story and doing a quick summary of the story post that I mentioned in the last episode. I am linking those in the description below if you missed it. There hasn't been any new ones since the last episode, so if you've already read them, then you don't need to click on them. But I just wanted to put them there anyway because we are talking about it in this episode. And then we are going to be having a royal winter ball at the Windenburg Palace. And then we are going to see Lady Ariana and Sir Thomas Stratton because they're going to be having their first baby. And then we're going to see Han and Araminta and the kiddos at the Guangxi Palace because we are going to go see Princess Mamie because you guys didn't get to actually see her last episode. So if you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit that like button. All right, so again, we're at the Sulani Palace because we're doing a little family get together just to celebrate Kimmy Makana's engagement. It's a little bit more laid back and casual. I don't see the most Whoa, are you, uh, Aisha's going swimming, apparently? Okay, she was like, I'm done with this party already. I'm going swimming. Um, I see Arya and Aisha, but I don't see the most important one, which is Kimmy, because it's kind of her and Makana's night. All right, I found her. I think she had gone swimming. They're so cute, look at them. All right, so the ring was perfect. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. Okay, this is like a super close up of the ring, but this is by Glitterberry Sims. She had published this as a post, and I. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect for Kimmy and Makana because it's like a pearl and it kind of looks like a shell. I thought it was so pretty and so perfect for them. So we could say this ring is like a family heirloom of the Suvani royal family or something like that. Okay, so Grandma Lokalani, she's preparing some kava and some food and I didn't get to show you guys Nohea in the last episode. So two episodes ago, three episodes ago was when Samaria and Bellatrix, they had their baby, they had Lord Nohea and I forgot to show Show you him in the last episode. So this is Nohea. I love him. He's super sweet. We're excited and he's super cute and he's asleep out here while everybody's celebrating. And then we've got Kaleo and Samaria here. They're just chilling. But yeah, the Tulani royal family's back from the tours that they've been doing. On the streams, we spent some time with them in Mount Combrebi. So they got to hang out there. The kids kind of got to go on more of a vacation. But what we did was it was Dean and Leilana, Makana, Samaria, and Kaleo. So they all went. Dowager Queen Lokalani, she stayed back and actually stayed with Bellatrix to help take care of Nohea. But yeah, the kids had fun. Oh yeah, Bellatrix is here too. She's over there. Um, but the kids had fun. Oh, Manuel's like ready to go swimming. But if you missed the stream, I'll put the link to it in the description below. It wasn't the one where we saw uh, the Snowy Escape Pack for the first time that I had mentioned in the last episode. We have been going there a little bit more the past few streams and kind of exploring and doing some gameplay. So we spent some time with the Sulani royal family. So while we were there, the whole Sulani royal family, they were having hot pot at their rental home, their nice little rental home. And Kaleo is apparently a picky eater. So he got really sad and upset that they were eating hot pot because apparently he didn't like it, which <laughs> hot pot is so good. I was so upset, but he didn't like it. And then he started getting upset. And then Makana got up and started crying in his bowl. I don't know why. Maybe he missed Kimmy, I don't know. Or maybe he was just irritated at Kaleo for being a piggy eater, but then he started crying in his bowl and then Samaria just started doing push-ups. She was just done with her emotional brothers and she was like, all right, it's fine. Also, Samaria is amazing at snowboarding, like way better than her brothers are. But yeah, it was fun. We got to hang out with them and the gameplay was fun too. But yeah, okay, so they're going to celebrate. Of course we have Kimmy, Makana. Where are they? Okay, here they are. They're getting away from their family to flirt with each other for a little bit. But I'm excited for them. So their wedding's not gonna be for quite a while. We still have to do Desta and Adric's wedding and then the other weddings like Manuel and Juliet and Elena and Takashi and Elon and Natalia as well. So their wedding is not gonna be for a while, but I'm still really excited for it. It's gonna be at the Mermaid Palace. I have to figure out how to do the whole mermaid ceremony thing. But yay, I'm happy for them. We are now at 
the Windenburg Palace. We are going to hang out here a bit before the Royal Winter Ball starts. So Caspian's actually not going to be at the Royal Winter Ball. He is going to be in Suwanee with his dad for his dad's birthday. When I say birthday, I know the Sims, like their birthday is every time they go into a different life stage, but you know, normal people have birthdays every year. So that's what I'm going off of. Maleko is not aging up. I think he's, he's an adult, but he's not going to be an elder or anything like that. But yeah, so Caspian and Alzme, they are hanging out here for a bit. They're building a snow pal. So I'm go about to go over the story post, but most of you have read it at this point. I'm pretty sure if not, I'm sorry, this is a spoiler, but they got a dog. Oh, we have a dog. So this is Benji. Um, So he's supposed to be a puppy. Sometimes the puppies in the game are cute. However, Benji is much cuter as an adult. I do have the height slider mod for the pets. However, the animations look kind of weird when you use it. He's a puppy, we're just gonna say that. Or he's like a year and a half, so what is puppy? I think it's after two, they're not a, considered a puppy anymore, but he's, he's a puppy. But before we look at Benji and how cute he is some more, I'm going to do a summary of these posts. So before I start talking about the story and do the summary, just a heads up that it does mention depression and symptoms of depression and what Alice May has been going through the past few months. So if that is a sensitive subject for you, I'm going to put a time here on the video so you know what time in the video to see skip to, but a quick overview of what has happened. Okay, so I'm not gonna go over all of the details of the story posts that were listed in the last episode. I'm just gonna go over the important points. So all of these story posts were listed in the video description of the last episode. The last time when we talked about Alice May's story, her depression was getting worse, and she didn't actually know it was depression at the time. But since then, Kai, he called Amira to tell her that he noticed Alice May might have symptoms of depression, because he always sees Alice May when she goes to Suvani, and he recognizes the symptoms from when Amira had depression. So Amira talked to Alice May, and Alice May did end up telling her how she's been feeling the past few months, and Amira said that she understood and told her about when she had experienced similar feelings when she was younger, when she had depression. So they got Alice May help, and she's been taking antidepressants and been seeing a therapist. She's still struggling a bit, but she's feeling a lot better than she was before. I think telling her parents and her friends, like Caspian, Molly Grace, Jessica, and Nani, that helped a lot. And then meanwhile, Amira, she hasn't spent much time with her family for the past few years because of her responsibilities as queen, but after she found out what's been going on with Alice May, she knew she had to do whatever she could to spend more time with Jabari and the kids. So Amira met with her Privy Council and really put her foot down, saying that she's taking the kids on their scheduled royal tour at the end of January with her and Jabari, and they're taking a vacation as a family for two weeks after that. And since then, Amira has also been having more dinners with the family and just spending more time with them in general. So all that happened in September in the story, then it skipped to December. So for the story posts in December, we saw that they got their puppy, Benji. Alice May and Cedric has wanted a dog since they were little. And Amira and Jabari finally decided to get one because Caspian convinced them to. So Caspian had been doing some research on depression and came across some information about how pets, specifically dogs in this case, can help with depression. And Caspian already knew that Alice May and Cedric wanted a dog. So he asked to meet with Jabari and Amira and had this whole presentation prepared to help convince them, and it worked. So Benji is now officially registered as Alice May's emotional support dog. And then as of this episode, it's the beginning of January. And I had one more story post since the last episode, which I didn't list in the video description of the last episode, but it was a dream that Caspian had of Alice May. And you get some inner dialogue from him when he wakes up. So that story post is linked in the description below. But yeah, Alice May and Caspian, they both have feelings for each other. Alice May hasn't told Caspian because she's nervous and also because she's been going through so much and had been so focused on that. And Caspian hasn't told her how he feels also because of what she's been going through. He wants to make sure her priority is to get better because he's seen how much pain she's been in and he doesn't want her to feel that way. So he's making sure he's there to support her, but if he admitted his feelings and they started dating, he wouldn't want that to be the only reason that she was happy. 
But yeah, so that is a summary of what has happened. Again, more details will be in the actual story posts and it will explain things better. But I just wanted to do a quick reminder of things, a quick refresher. But yeah, so we have a dog. This is Benji. He's so cute. Alice May loves him. Like they are inseparable. She loves him so much. And then if it wasn't obvious from the Winterfest post because it had been a couple months between the Winterfest post when they did get Benji and the ones before that. But Caspian has like, his feelings have gotten really strong for Alice May. Oh, and then Cedric. Wait, Cedric, Cedric loves Benji too. But there's also the thing. So Caspian's going to be spending a week at his dad then they're going, he'll come back and he'll be here for a week before Alice May and the whole, our whole Windenburg family before they go on their royal tours and vacation. So they're going to be gone for like five weeks. So her and Caspian aren't going to see each other for quite a while. The debutante ball isn't supposed to be until like late spring slash summertime, but I think Alice May definitely plans on asking Caspian to go with her. And of course there'll be more story posts of Alice May's story on Instagram. So We'll see them more. I know we just hadn't seen Caspian in quite a while, so wanted to show them together here and of course with our dog. But now we are going to have our Royal Winter Ball. All right, so we are having our Royal Winter Ball. We've done this before in the series. Actually, the last time we did this, it was when Kimmy and McConnell broke up. That was supposed to take place like years ago because there was that two year time skip, but now it's supposed to be an annual thing. So we're having our Royal Winter Ball at the Windenburg Palace. It's a big deal for the Windenburg royal family. Everyone gets really dressed up. Of course, again, Caspian could not make it here this time, but a lot of other people are here. So I will show you everybody's outfits. Oh wait, no, this is so cute. We have all the friends. They're all standing around and chatting in a circle. So we have Alice May. Look how pretty she looks. Alice May, and then Molly Grace. And we have, let's see, we have Jessica, we have Minerva, William's girlfriend, although she's tense about something. And then we have Nani too. So they're all just chatting in a circle. That's so cute. But yeah, we have a bunch of other people here. Sissy's dancing, where's Cedric? Oh, Cedric, oh, Cedric. He's shy, he doesn't wanna go out to the party with everyone. I'm gonna have Sissy come here and play cards with him then because they're super close. We have a Dowager Queen Evangeline. So we have Prime Minister Jonah Colbright, he is here. He was in the story post. And then this is his wife, this is Samantha. So Samantha and Jonah, they are from my friend Cass's Instagram story. She has a story, it's her Sim Self legacy story on there. So they're actually characters from there. So this is kind of like an alternate universe because it's Jonah and Samantha, but it's not quite the same Jonah and Samantha. They're vampires in Cass's story. They're not vampires here. I'm going to link her Instagram profile in the description below though. So definitely make sure to check that out because I love them and she let me add them to the story. And now Jonah is prime minister, but we also have, this is kind of cute. So we have Kaleo and Gabriel and Makana. So of course Makana and Kaleo are cousins with Gabriel. And then we have Kimmy, I'm gonna change her outfit. Okay, and then Manuel. Bellatrix, Samaria. They didn't bring Nohea here. They're having a night out. We have Natalia, Abraham. Uh, Abraham and Diana are not quite pregnant yet, but soon, they will be soon. Um, we have Megan and we have Jabari, Arya, looking gorgeous as always. She looks stunning. Sadira, we have Diana and Dowager Queen Evangeline. So yeah, we have a lot of people here. Oh, and Kellen too, of course. So we aren't gonna spend too much time here, but they are all dancing and having fun. Oh, and Valen is here too, and her and, uh, I almost said Charlie. I've never called Charles Charlie before really, but uh, her and Charles will be having their baby in the next episode. Oh, and there's William. Do you wanna come talk and dance with your girlfriend? Hopefully he will in a Oh, he's talking to his mother right now. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's some family business. And then Zamora's here too, and Elon, and Naya, and Aisha. But this right here, so this is Jonah and Samantha's son. This is Graham. I was thinking maybe Molly Grace kind of thinks he's cute and asking Alice May about him. And Alice May is like, oh yeah, that's the prime minister's son. That is Graham. I'm gonna do a story post about this, so it'll be more detailed. But Alice May tells Molly Grace like, oh yeah, Graham has mentioned you before. Like he's seen one of your recitals. So I feel like Molly Grace was like, oh, well, why didn't you tell me? And Alice May was like, well, you were, I didn't think you'd be interested. You were talking to someone else at the time. I know I haven't really showed it in episodes, but I do think Molly Grace has had a few flings with some people. But yeah, Alice May is just saying, 
saying like, Graham's kind of shy. Like, I, I don't know. I didn't think he was your type. But Molly Grace was like, introduce us. So I'm gonna have her introduce them. So Alice May is talking to Graham now and she's like, hey, remember you were asking about my friend Molly Grace? Well, she's here, meet her. So Molly Grace is going to introduce herself to Graham. That's a friendly introduction. So now she's meeting him for the first time. But okay, so I think they're like, the conversation's going okay. Alice May is gonna walk away. Molly Grace and Graham are gonna continue to talk. Maybe Molly Grace would ask him. Well, I guess you should flirt a little bit. I was gonna say, maybe she would ask him to slow dance. Oh my gosh, look at Gabriel and Jabari dancing together like crazy, my goodness. Oh, and then Megan and Naya are talking. We don't see them together that often, do we? But yeah, Naya is Megan's older sister, so they're chatting. They're catching up. I'm going to have Molly Grace ask Graham to slow dance. I guess no one else is slow dancing. I guess people should do that, shouldn't they? Oh, they are slow dancing, but they're slow dancing right in front of the door. Like not really where the music is, but they are slow dancing. Wait, this is cute. This is cute. Oh, poor Graham. He's probably so nervous. But yeah, he definitely saw Molly Grace in a recital before and had a huge crush on her. And now he's like, I was not expecting to really meet her here. Jonah is a fairly like he's recently become the prime minister. So this is probably one of the first royal events that they've been to. Oh my gosh, look at Kaleo just standing next to Alice May. He's probably asking her to dance and she's like, not now. Amira's right there. She's like, mother. <laughs> Charles is talking to his mother. Cedric has warmed up. He's decided to dance. Oh my gosh, look at him dancing. Look at the way he dances. It's so cute. Okay, I, this is a lot of fun, but I don't think we can stay here for too long because we do have two other things we have to do real quick. Molly Grace and Graham just slow dancing. So we'll see how things go with them. Again, I'll have that be a story post. Frederick and Nani chatting. Oh, oh wait, William and Minerva, they found each other on their own. They're chatting, but yeah. Okay, so again, we have to go. You guys got to meet Graham. Now we're having a little dance circle. So they'll have a fun night. All right, so we are now in Brindleton Bay with Lady Ariana and Sir Thomas Stratton. And immediately Lady Ariana has gone into labor. So we are going to have them go to the hospital and have the, where, why, oh, go home. Isn't this your home? All right, have baby, have baby at hospital, send alone. Okay, her and Thomas are going to have their baby now. All right, guys. Okay, so they had a girl. So we are going to name her Lady. Lady Catalina. Is that gonna fit? But yay, okay, they had a big girl. So I will show, I have to move the baby because it was floating again. I will show you their baby in probably the next episode, if not the one after that. Francisco and Bell's first grandchild bottle feed. But yeah, they had a baby. We're so excited for them, yay. Ariana, Thomas, um, they might have one more, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. But their parents, that's so exciting. Okay, so we're now back at the Guangxi Palace, so you guys can see Princess Mamie. We also have all of their family here. Oh, I forgot that Elena was here. So I guess she's just here visiting. Now I have not really done that much renovating or furnishing since the last episode, I apologize. But I kind of, did, we did a few things. We worked on Zayori's future room. Obviously there's still a lot to go, but we put beds at least. Um, we put beds in the nursery. We still need to fill out everything. I just put essentials, like the bathroom we have, and then a Han and Aramid room I got started too so yeah not much has changed since the last episode but I will make sure to work on that as soon as possible but yeah Elena's visiting I have a funny story to tell you guys in a second too so it's just a casual family get together we have Akio we have Mei Lin she's here Kentaro should be here Azumi Tai and then Jung should also be here we have the whole family here Azumi is here Akio's wife she's actually pregnant I don't know if I told you guys that but she's pregnant she should be having her baby soon I don't know why Mamie is like her icon is ahead of Rin because she's definitely younger than Rin is, but this is Princess Mamie. She's super cute. Li Wei is excited, or Li Wei and Mei Lin, they are excited to have another grandchild. But yeah, then Elena's just staying here. Oh yeah, funny story. So when we were on the stream, I'm pretty sure it happened in the same stream where I was talking about Kaleo and Makana crying while Samaria was doing pushups, but we tried the hot spring woohoo with Takashi and Elena. We put it like in the basement. I took it out for now, but, uh, oh no, I didn't, it's still there. But we <laughs> we had the woohoo in the hot spring. And remember how at Genevieve and Kimmy's birthday party, Takashi and Elena went to go woohoo in Corn Boy's bedroom and then Elena's dad walked in and then everybody else walked in. Well, they were woohooing in the hot tub or the hot ring and then Araminta walked in and I was like, oh no. And the whole stream was just like, they can never get any privacy. I mean, the first one was kind of like, well, what did you expect? But this one, it's like, oh dang, sorry. 
sorry. But the whole family's here. They get to see the kiddos. Of course, Azumi will be having her baby soon too. But yay, this family's so cute. I love them. And they have their new gigantic palace, which will be renovated soon. But we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below about Kimmy and Mankana's engagement, about Alice May's story. I know that's a big one. Also about the Royal Winter Ball and Benji too. Little Benji, their cute puppy. And then yeah, Royal Winter Ball with Molly Grace meeting Graham, the Prime Minister's son. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.